Hey everyone, this is Sanjay here. Today I have a Moto X Play which was released in 2015 and I have been uh, using this phone since 2019 June and I was really stuck with Android Nougat which was the latest version that the Motora rolled out for this device. But luckily enough, earlier this month I saw a Lineage OS ROM based on the Android 10. It gives a pure Android 10 experience along with the Moto gestures. Uh, as you can see, if you go to the settings in this ROM, system settings, advanced, and the gestures. Here you can see all the uh, Moto specific gestures in this ROM. And the developer also rolls out the weekly release in the official Lineage OS site. As you can see, the ROM is very fluid and it is very usable. And I found only two minor bugs, which is in the camera. Let's quickly jump into the camera app. And I will keep this mouse as an object. The like, uh, photos are really fine and there is a lens blur option which uh, gives a uh, virtual portrait effect. The bug is in the video mode. If I switch into the video mode, you can see the phone is keeping on focusing the mouse but it is not fixing a focus on it. There is a minor bug I have noticed. The video will record if I uh, click on the uh, video bar record button. Mm -hmm. but. Uh, it will not focus the object and the second bug is it's not a big deal uh, there are some graphical glitches uh, as you can see around some uh, the notification panel those are not a huge deal breaker for me coming to the battery aspect of the phone i didn't change the battery ever since i bought it the health is around 65 to 68 percent the screen on time for me is about 3.5 to 4.5 hours in a performance mode and 5 hours to 6 hours in power saving mode uh, regarding the call quality and the network there is no issue with geo volte it works absolutely fine um, but due to uh, the fact that the phone is not capable of connecting to other networks volte but we can use the 4g of the network but uh, during the call and messaging it will switch back to the 2g or 3g okay now i will show you how to install this rom in your moto x play first you need to unlock the bootloader i am not going to show how to unlock the bootloader in this video and i will link the guide to unlock the bootloader in the description below first do a complete backup of your phone before doing any of this Go ahead and power off your phone. Press the down volume button along with the power button and hold it. As this is the bootloader screen. Um, if you unlocked the phone, it will show the device is unlocked. If you modify any of the software inside it, it will show software status modified here. Once you are in the bootloader screen and it shows a device is unlocked, you are good to go. Once you have unlocked the bootloader, connect the device to the computer and then download these three files from the description below. Then make sure that your USB driver for your phone is installed properly. Uh, to check that you can extract the minimal ADB open it and uh, open this file by right clicking on it and run it as administrator then type this command fast boot devices and hit enter if it doesn't return any string or uh, uh, any devices you need to install the Motorola drivers from the Motorola website install the driver and I will uh, skip this installation once you have installed all the USB drivers correctly go into the minimal ADB folder 
and click command here executable and run fast boot devices command again it should return something like this uh, this is your phone ID and this is the connected mode then you can proceed with this close this pr command prompt window and move the recovery image into the fast boot folder and again run this cmd here and type this command fast boot flash recovery space then copy the exact name of this recovery image and paste it in the command prompt and hit enter once that is done everything should be returned ok ok and, and uh, it should finish without any error we can ignore uh, this these not found errors but it should say ok writing recovery and ok here and it is finished successfully then you can go back to your phone and uh, reboot to the recovery once you have installed the recovery to your moto x play uh, go ahead and uh, press the down volume button and finally you can see an option called recovery mode then power the power button to boot into the recovery mode As you can see, my phone is in the recovery mode. In your recovery mode, just go to wipe, advanced wipe, and then select Dalvik cache, system, data, leave the internal storage, and check cache. If you swipe this, your entire data from this phone will be erased swipe it then uh, click back and go to the home click on install and here you can see your rom and the g apps i have given the links for these files in the description below select the rom and uh, click on add more zip and select the uh, G apps and swipe to flash it will take around 6 minutes as you can see all the zip files are flashed successfully uh, it, it should show 0, 1.0000 and succeeded, script succeeded over here this is for G apps. G apps will say installation completed. Then click on reboot system. <laughs> Usually it will take uh, nearly 10 to 15 minutes in the first boot. I'm going to skip it. Here you go. You got an Android 10 running in your Moto X Play. Set it up and enjoy your Moto X Play and the Android 10 experience. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. And if you like my work, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.